guys, it's the Addy Queen, and in this video I thought I'd open up some yarn slash knitting related packages that I got today. This one's from Joann's, and this one is actually from an Etsy shop. I will put the link in the description for the Etsy shop. From Joann, I just bought some of my favorite yarn ever, which is obviously the ice cream yarn by Lion Brand. I don't know why it has always been one of my favorites. I love the way the baby blankets look. Um, the stripes are just so beautiful. This is only a third of my order. I did get two other colorways. I plan on making baby blankets with these. Now this is what I'm making the video for. Um, this is something relatively new that a lot of knitting machine users are experimenting with. And I haven't seen anybody make a video yet. It is actually a tensioner that goes on your Addy machine. So let's see here. I'm assuming here is the tensioner. Oh no, it's some other goodies too. I got a tag for some ha some tags for some hats. Oh wow, look how beautiful that is. I love the coloration. Wow. Okay, let's see what else she put in here. We got some instructions. Um, a pom-pom button and how to use a pom-pom button. And a cute little sticker. Um, the other thing was just my bill which you guys don't really need to see. Uh, let's see here. The order total with tax and shipping was $13. And here is her information. All right, let's try out this tensioner. I'm excited. Someone grab my 22 pin. Get this out of the way. I'll put it sideways, that way you guys can see what's going on. She said, first we need to remove the protective paper, which is just this, I do believe. All right, cast on and thread the yarn through the gold yarn guide. So that's just like normal. Let's see. I'll use my shimmery black yarn. So I'm going to cast on. And it says to crank out a few foundation roll rows before inserting the tension fork. So, obviously, I'm going to do my couple of rows. Okay. Thread through the appropriate tension holes for desired tension. So... There are different holes, and then here is the different tensions and how to get them. So I'm going to do third hole only just to get the loose tension for now. So... It inserts under the feeder. Okay. So, here's your yarn feeder. It's the same on every Addy machine. And these two slots fit right in there like this. And then when you're done, it just pulls off. So, I'm actually going to use the same one for all three of my machines. Just because it comes on and off so easy. Just like that. Alright, so we're going to go through this whole third hole here. That works really nicely. It's not wiggling or anything. Wow, I really like this so far. I will let you guys know how this product goes, just like with the wear and tear of using my machine. 
obviously that just slipped out so you'll have to keep an eye on it which I think I have it upside down uh oh I don't know because in her photos on here they're all facing this way the holes that's the loosest tension to go moderate tension it's only the second hole tight is the first hole and then for the tightest you go in the first underneath and into the second like that that's the tightest tension she says like this but yeah i will put a link to her etsy in this description it's so cute and i do believe that she does sell these and she yeah here's a link to her youtube video for her pom-pom buttons She made vegan suede tags that are machine washable. Awesome. I am really looking forward to using this product in my day-to-day -day knitting. And she sent this cute little sticker. I think I'm going to put it on the side of my Addy. I think that'd be really cute. Let's do it. There we go. That fits like perfectly right there. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to go check out this Etsy shop. Get your own tensioner. And that's all I have for you guys. Happy crafting, everyone.